Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm David Parkinson Frost, here with a February Patch Tuesday breakdown. Microsoft hauled a lighter than usual load of 51 patches this month, with none of them earning critical severity. <laughs> Very nice! <laughs> High five! <laughs> with this month's smaller batch, sysadmins will have more time to spend with their sweetie this Valentine's Day. Oh, guys! However, there is a remote code execution vulnerability in Windows DNS Server that security experts say is ripe for exploitation. <laughs> Unfortunately, Microsoft failed to offer detailed information on the nature of the flaw and the risk it poses, leaving security experts to fend for themselves. Just like that, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Prince Spooler returns with a set of four vulnerabilities, one of which has a publicly available exploit. The Empire isn't the only thing that strikes back. In other security news, Microsoft announced that Office macros obtained from the internet will now be blocked by default. It's about time! This is long overdue as attackers have been hiding malicious macros in Office documents since the Clinton administration. Security teams are rejoicing around the world as malicious actors will no longer be able to exploit what is often an initial vector for ransomware attacks. This place. It's time to praise the Lord. As this has been a vicarious news call production, I'm Dave. Uh, David, please be careful about downloading any office documents from the internet as the default change does not take effect until April. Regards, Tom. Ha <laughs> <laughs>